Good to speak to you again, Helena. I want to start with this visit by Lachlan Murdoch, the head of a, you know, one of the most influential media empires in the world. Was that seen as significant in Ukraine? And if so, why? Well, it, um, as you already mentioned, it's been already almost two years since the full-scale invasion of Russia. And the uh, situation not only on the front line, but all over the country continue, continues to be quite tough with uh, shelling, with people being awakened at night and forced to, to run to shelters with their children. And one of the biggest, basically, battles that we are fighting is also an information battle in Western countries. And we are fighting with uh, Russia to actually for for attention, for uh, for winning the uh, true stories. And that is why uh, such a visit and such attention of uh, basically global media, global uh, information leaders is very important and vital to to tell the truth about what is going on in Ukraine and about the uh, atrocities that Russians are doing here. What it what it means? Yeah, I guess the time exit. People. Yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt. The delay got us there. Uh, I think the timing's significant because the, the Middle East crisis, the war between Israel and Hamas has got uh, global attention at the moment. We've spent a lot of time talking about it on our program tonight. And of course, it's globally significant, but you won't want the world to lose focus on Ukraine. And uh, the Western world in particular needs to remember just how important uh, holding the line here against Russia is to democracies in the West. Uh, can you please continue? Can you please repeat the the question? It's been air alarm here, so I didn't hear you. All right, so. Sorry, Helena, I was just talking about the timing of this and the importance for the West to keep a focus on Ukraine, not forget about it because there's uh, the other issue of Israel and Hamas uh, dominating at the moment as well. Yeah, exactly. And uh, my personal take of the situation in Israel I'm pretty sure that the invasion of Hamas to Israel would probably not happen if the uh, reaction of Western democracy to uh, Russian invasion to Ukraine were uh, quicker, tougher, and the military assistance to Ukraine were greater. Because basically each day of reluctance or each conversation raised in the parliaments of Western countries, should the military assistance to Ukraine uh, continue or not sends the signal to uh, basically bad guys of this world to totalitarian uh, leaders who consider to uh, mess with their countries and if uh, basically their reaction on what is going on in ukraine their reaction of what is going on in, in israel would not be substantial enough i'm afraid we will see more wars around the world and that is why I want to, to, to use this opportunity to actually address uh, Australian politicians, Australian government, but also the whole society with gratitude for the assistance for military and humanitarian assistance Australia provided to Ukraine. But I should also, I would like to take this uh, basically opportunity to ask to, uh, for continuation of this assistance. Uh, the military assistance sent by Australia, for example, Bushmasters, was really helpful and continues to be helpful. Those Bushmasters that are serves as ambulance, they save uh, people's life on the front line. Lives not only of military, uh, basically guys, of soldiers, but also of civilians, because Russians continue severely attacking the front lines, settlements where families still live, where children still live, and we need to save these people to evacuate if, if something happens to them. Also, it's very important, and I would like to, to address um, Australian people to uh, find an opportunity to help Ukraine with uh, mine clearing equipment, which is very important because Russians are basically polluting uh, Ukraine uh, with mines uh, enormously. And uh, it affects, mm -hmm. once again, not only the basically the counteroffensive operation, but also the life of civilians who live in these territories. And it's very important to continue providing Indeed, this assistance. 
Yeah, a message heard here, Lena, and, uh, and uh, we'll keep a focus on these issues. And no doubt your very excellent ambassador here in Australia will be uh, making those requests directly to the Australian government. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll check in again.